So next topic guys, um, harmonic progression. So basahin natin guys. A sequence of numbers whose reciprocals form an arithmetic progression. So napag-aralan na natin yung arithmetic. And ang arithmetic ay meron silang tinatawag na common difference. Same number na ina-add dun sa previous term um, to form a progression. No? So example tayo para mas maintindihan. So, ang arithmetic progression, kunwari, ito ang example natin. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, etc. and etc. No? So, ano naman ang harmonic progression? Given na yan yung arithmetic progression, ito naman yung tinatawag na harmonic progression. 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 sixth, ay, 1 eighth. 110 and then 1 over 12. So ano na lang 'yan guys? Um madali na lang 'yan. And wala na tong masyadong explanation or derivation ng formula. So solve na lang tayo ng problem. So sample problem tayo. Number 1, determine the 23rd term of the sequence 2, 6 over 7, 6 over 11 and 2 5, 2 fifths. Um Guys, kapag nakita natin yung ganyang problem, we assume na zero knowledge tayo, no? Hindi natin alam kung arithmetic ba siya, geometric ba siya, or harmonic. So, kapag ganun, ang first task mo is identify kung anong klaseng sequence ba yan. Arithmetic, geometric, or harmonic. So, try natin arithmetic progression, no? Assume natin na hindi natin alam, no? Sa arithmetic progression, D is equal to 6 over 7 minus 2 must be equal to 6 over 11 minus 6 over 7. So, anong sagot na ito na? Calcule ko na lang guys para madali. So, 6 over 7 minus 2. So, negative 8 over 7. Negative 8 over 7. So, equal ba siya kay 6 over 11 minus 6 over 7? Negative 24 over 77. So, from that, hindi siya equal, guys. So, therefore, not arithmetic progression. Try naman natin kung siya ba ay geometric progression or ganyan na lang. So, tawag doon ay common ratio. So, 6 over 7 over 2. So, equal ba siya sa 6 over 11 over 6 over 7? So, ang sagot, 6 over 7 over 2 is 3 over 7. So, equal ba siya dito? 6 over 11 6 over 7 7 over 11 So, not equal pa rin yan So, ang conclusion natin ay Not Geometric progression So, try natin ng Harmonic progression no? So, dun na yan So, kung harmonic progression guys So, 2 6 over 7 6 over 11 Then yung last is 2 fifths So yan yung given So i-convert mo siya sa arithmetic progression So ang AP version niya ay 1 half 7 over 6 11 over 6 And then 5 halves So kukunin natin ngayon yung common difference niya no? So D is equal to 7 over 6 minus 1 half. So, equal ba siya guys sa 11 over 6 minus 7 over 6. So, nireciprocal natin siya guys and then we compute for the common difference. No? Para malaman natin kung yung reciprocal nga ba niya ay arithmetic progression. Kung ganon, then it's harmonic progression. So, 7 over 6 minus 1 halves. So, two-thirds, guys. So, ito, guys, kapag nag-two-thirds to, 
malamang sa malamang, ito ay harmonic progression. So, try 11 over 6 minus 7 over 6. Two-thirds then. So, kung hindi ka pa na hindi ka pa na sa satisfy, pwede mo siyang dagdagan ng pang check, no? So, 5 halves minus 11 over 6, no? So, try natin. Uh, another given lang yan, no? Ano yun? 5 halves minus 11 over 6, then 2 thirds then. 2 thirds then, guys. So, doon natin napatunayan na harmonic progression siya. Harmonic progression. So, ang tinatanong, what is the 23rd term of the sequence, no? So, given na ito na yung arithmetic progression natin, so, we can find for the 23rd term. At yung common difference natin ay 2 thirds. So, kakalimutan muna natin yung harmonic progression. Dito tayo mag-focus kay arithmetic progression. And then, we get the 23rd term using arithmetic progression. And then, we reciprocate para makuha yung 23rd term, di ba? Gawin natin. So, A23. Ano yung formula, guys? Nasa formula yan, no? A1 plus n minus 1 times common difference. A23. So, ang A1 natin using arithmetic progression ay 1 half. 1 half plus n i23 minus 1. Then, common difference is 2 thirds. So, this is equal to so, 1 half plus 22 times 2 third. Ganyan na lang. So, 91 over 6. Ayan. So, ang 1 over A23, yan yung inahanap natin. 6 over 91. So, yan yung sagot. Ang tinatanong ay yan eh. Yung harmonic progression. So, second problem tayo guys. So, <clears throat> determine the harmonic mean of the first four terms of the sequence 3, 5, 7. So, guys, eto guys, kitang-kita, nasa arithmetic progression tayo, no? So, solution 1 and 2 tayo. So, solution 1. So, ang gagawin ko lang, i-change ko siya sa harmonic progression. So, ang AP kasi natin is 3, 5, 7. Then, obviously, yung fourth term natin ay 9. So, sa harmonic progression naman, yan ay 1 third, 1 fifth, 1 seventh, then 1 nine. So, kukunin natin yung min neto, guys. Yung min yan. No? Kumbaga, let's get the min. No? So, 1 third, 1 fifth, 1 seventh, then 1 over 9, over 4. So, min lang yan, guys. Ha? Min. No? Min. So, solve natin. That's 1 third plus 1 fifth plus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 9 equal. Then, divided by 4. So, 62 over 315. 62 over 315. So, ang tanong, yan na ba yung harmonic mean? Of course, not. So, yung harmonic mean natin ay naka-reciprocal na ganyan. So, yun na yung sagot. Or equal siya sa 5.08. No? That's the ano, no? solution 1. So, solution 2 guys, ano tayo, no? um, direct substitute tayo. Solution 2. So, ang harmonic mean ng isang tinatawag na Arithmetic progression, di ba? Sabi doon is 3, 5, 7, and the 9. Harmonic mean niya ay N over 1 over A1 plus 1 over A2 and so on and so forth hanggang 1 over A, over A to the nth term. So, direct sub natin that that is 4, then 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 9 and then ang harmonic mean natin ay same lang yung magiging sagot 4 yung tayo sa ilalim 1 third plus 1 fifth plus 1 seventh plus 
1.9. So, equal 315 over 62. Or just equal to 5.08. So, solution 1 and 2 tayo dyan. So, so, yan ang example number 2 natin. So, madali lang naman ang harmonic progression natin, guys. So, dito natin tatapusin yung last lecture. And then, again, I'm always saying that you have to try by yourself. Kailangan mag-solve din kayo ng different problems na hindi ko tinuro. And you have to discover it by your own, yung solution. You have to think critically. You have to practice your mind how to develop new solutions because it's just a puzzle. Ang mathematics can be solved in many, many ways. So, huwag kayong mag stick sa kung ano lang yung tinuro sa inyo. So, ito, mga basic concepts lang to and maybe complicated problems but um, I hope na ito ay makatulong sa inyo. Thank you guys. So, proceed tayo sa next topic. The binomial theorem. Thank you.